Oh, what if you walked off with the clicker? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Devin. That was awesome. Uh, next up. Next up, we have Julian Leitner. He's a 15-year-old student, violinist, guitarist, and rapper. He has a song out on iTunes, and he's hoping to have an album out by the end of the year. Wait, wait, did you say that song is available on iTunes right now? <laughs> what if we could buy it? What if you could buy Fight for a Cause? <laughs> oh, you can! <laughs> so, go buy it. Um, <laughs> he's also a philanthropist. Julian started here at Catlin Gable when he was in preschool, and in seventh grade, he founded the Archimedes Alliance charity on the premise that anyone can make a difference. His charity encourages people to donate just two dollars. Julian Leitner. Julian. We live in a world of strife, a world of poverty, hunger, disease, war. In this world, it's easy to feel helpless. What could you or I possibly do to make a difference? Nothing. That's what most people would say if you asked them. But what if we could do something? What if we could make a difference? Better yet, what if everyone could make a difference? As utopian as that sounds, it really isn't too far away. For while we live in a world of strife, we also live in a world of new opportunity. With social media and the internet, my generation has access to global communication in a way no other generation has. And because of that, it's now easier to make a global difference than it had ever been before. When I was in sixth grade, I decided I was going to change the world. I had no clue how I was going to do it. <laughs> but I was committed. I spent the better part of that year brainstorming. Now, I don't come from a wealthy family, and because of that, my world-changing options were somewhat limited. I couldn't, you know, I, I couldn't make a huge donation to a charity, I couldn't produce a movie, and I wasn't even old enough to vote. I was helpless. Or at least it seemed like I was. It wasn't until I broke out of the mindset of accepting my apparent helplessness that I was able to move forward. It happened uh, sometime in winter of 2009. I was talking with my dad, I was throwing around ideas, and it hit me. Sure, I might not be able to do anything, but there have to be a million other people just like me. People who want to make a difference, but don't have the means to do so alone. What if we all just pooled our resources? I spent the next two years researching, developing ways to make this idea a reality. And on August 6, 2011, I launched the Archimedes Alliance to leverage the power of the internet and bring together people of good intentions and limited resources and give them a voice and a means to change the world. And I think it was just You can buy a bag of chips, or a quarter hour of parking, or one of these things. <laughs> or for two bucks, you can change the world. My name is Julian. I'm 13 years old, and I want to change the world. This guy is Archimedes. He said, give me a lever long enough and a place to stand and I can move the earth. I created the Archimedes Alliance so that we all have a place to stand. You are the lever. Together, let's move the earth. If I get 10 people to give two bucks, and each of them gets 10 people to give two bucks, and that happens just four more times, then you and I have a $2 million lever. Then for two bucks, you can save the life of one of the 24,000 children who dies each day from poverty-related causes. 
you can feed one of the 17 million American children who won't have food tonight. You can provide clean drinking water for one of the one billion people in this world who don't have access to one of the most basic human needs. For two bucks, you can change the world. Unless you really want that bag of chips. Move the Earth at ArchimedesAlliance.org. Since then, the Archimedes Alliance has raised more than $22,000 from more than 1,000 donors hailing from every continent in the world. This past January, we donated that $22,000 to Outreach International to help break the cycle of poverty in communities worldwide by teaching community members how to create and maintain a stable, sustainable environment for generations to come. I did that as a 13-year-old kid with just a laptop. No one is helpless. Everyone can make a difference. Now, obviously, we don't all have to start a charity, but we all have something to offer. We can all better the lives of those around us. So I don't care how you do it. You could buy a sandwich for a guy living on the street, or you could stop a kid from being bullied, or you could teach a little boy or girl how to read. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that you make someone's life better tomorrow, and the next day, and the day after that. Every single day. And if we do that, we can create a culture where helping others isn't an accomplishment, where it isn't even an obligation. We can create a culture where helping those around you is as natural and as routine as breathing. That is how we can all make a difference. That is how we can turn a world of strife into a world of strength. So now, when someone comes up to you and asks, what could you or I do to make a difference? You look them in the eyes, you say, let me tell you. 